Hi everyone, this is going to be a What's New Beauty video for the month of June 2018. We're gonna go back um, to the regular What's New Beauty types of videos. If you aren't familiar, in these videos I show you new makeup products that have been released on the market so that you can get a sneak peek into the further in-depth reviews that will be coming up on this channel and just to get a preview and look into what's new on the market. Um, and I also include things that aren't necessarily new to the market but are new to me or to my clients collections um, so that I can share my thoughts with you or just share products in general with you that are out there and that I'm trying out. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, please, please, please make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't seen Max Aaliyah collection, please make sure you go check that out, which I'll also talk about in this video further. And without any other delay, let's get looking at the new things that are on the market for July. Nope. June 2018. So first I wanna talk about Dior's new Backstage collection. This is kind of like a pro collection from them. Um, the face uh, look that I have on today is using almost um, all of the uh, products from the new Backstage collection. So if you're interested in seeing how these applied, my review of them and first impressions of them, then make sure that you stay tuned for that video. It's probably gonna be up after this video goes up. So just keep your eyes peeled and like I said, subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. Some new lip products from Revlon. Um, this comes in a whole range of shades. These are called the Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tints. I purchased these through Ulta. I will be doing a dedicated swatch video for these, but they look kind of like a marker balm almost. See this, it has like a felt tip applicator. Um, so I'm very interested and curious to see what the formula is for these. There are two new collections from MAC. The first one, which you probably know about, is the Aaliyah collection. If you wanna see full swatches and my first impressions of the products from the Aaliyah collection, make sure you click in the upper, for your screen, it would be upper right-hand corner um, to open that up in a new window and to view that. As always, you can also go to the website at AllureBeauty.com if you wanna see written reviews and photos. And the other collection that recently launched was the Oh Sweetie collection. This is a brand new range of um, lip products with a new formula. There's something really curious about this particular uh, lip product also that's unique to the this range and has never been done before um, in the MAC history of MAC uh, lip products as far as I know. So if you're interested, curious, um, and intrigued, then make sure you go also check out that video, which I will also link for you. Summer is in full swing, which means there's a ton of new highlighting products out on the market. We'll start with the um, highlighting duo from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna collection. This is for the summer 2018 collection, the Beach Please collection. And this is what these highlighters look like. I was also quite surprised by this product. So if you want to see why, and if of course you want to see swatches of these, then please make sure you also go check out that video that will probably also be published after this video is up. So again, subscribe, stay tuned, make sure you don't miss out on those videos. But these are not only surprising, but um, also can be used in maybe a way that you wouldn't um, initially think of given the name of this product. Something I have not tried yet as of making this video is the new Anastasia Dream Glow kit. So this is a highlighting palette and this is what the shades look like inside. And there's a close up there for you. I am happy to do a dedicated swatch video to show you um, what these colors look like on the skin and how they swatch. If you're interested in that, then just please let me know in a comment for this video. For drugstore options when it comes to highlighters, this is a new set and these are also limited edition from Revlon. These are called the um, Illuminators, what are these called? Prismatic, I don't think they ever have the names of the actual product on the packaging. I don't understand this. But anyway, I think these are like prismatic illuminating highlighters or something like that. Um, I've also already made a dedicated swatch video for these. There's four total colors. So um, that should be published shortly for you to see. A reviewer, a viewer requested that video. That's largely why I purchased these and did that. So in the future, if you're interested in something in particular for me to do, um, please feel free to make 
uh, or to leave a comment. It doesn't mean that I can get around to it. I can't accommodate all of the wishes of all of the commenters, but uh, once in a while I am able to do a video that I wouldn't otherwise maybe do on my own. If you didn't see last month's monthly video, I didn't quite do a traditional what's new in beauty video. I did more of a daily favorites from the range of new products that I was trying video. And one of the things was the new Cargo Swimmables Foundation, which I was very impressed with. Um, they were kind enough to then send me these. These are the one base concealer and foundation in one. They sent along two shades because I wasn't sure which one I was, 01 and 025. They come in tubes like this. Oh yeah, 01 is definitely too light for my skin, but in the winter time, I definitely could use this under the eyes or maybe even lightly to brighten the eye area. And then 025 seems to be a pretty good match there. So I will be testing these out and um, seeing how they perform. Tarte also has a new collection. Some people call it the Beauty, flower power um, collection. Other people are calling it the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust collection. In any case, um, it comes in really fun, girly, um, almost you know reminiscent of childhood kind of packaging. The main parts of it, there's a huge brush set that people are um, interested in, but there's also this eyeshadow palette and this blush here, this Cargo 24 hour blush. So there are going to be, or there is going to be a dedicated swatch video showing you both of these products. So if you're interested in this collection, then also make sure you don't miss out when that video is published. One more MAC collection. The review swatch video for this collection has actually been out for a while now on my channel already, but if you haven't seen it yet, this is the Patrick Star collection for summer 2018. There's the eyeshadow palette and Here's also the shimmering highlight. Um, so if you haven't checked out that video and you're curious, many of these products are still available to purchase. So make sure you go check that out before you make your purchase. One of Rimmel's latest mascaras, this is the Wonderfully Real uh, Mascara, full of longer, longer luscious lashes, comes in a metallic pink tube. And this is the brush style. So it is um, a cone shape that narrows to, at the end and has short spiky bristles. So my guess is this is going to be quite lengthening. Um, I will definitely be using this in the future and seeing how it works. And we also have new from L'Oreal, these infallible magic pigments. Now on Ulta's website, these only come in four shades. I don't know if there are more in the entire range, but I will be swatching these in a video for you. And they look very similar, at least in terms of packaging to Max pigments. Anyone remember, anyone old school beauty person who remembers when Mac had the full size, um, shorter, stockier, but wider pigment bottles where you got more product? I remember those days and then they downsized to something smaller like this, but charged just the same amount. Um, wasn't a huge fan of that, but anyway, that's what these look like. And I'm very excited to see if these compete at all with higher end brands like Mac in terms of loose pigments, because you don't get a lot of loose pigment options at the drugstore. And I want to start with this beautiful package that I received from Sylvain Delacouture. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Um, there are selected fragrances that they've kind of curated. And at first they sent me just a sample range of, I believe it was six of their um, scents. And I kind of tested them out and was able to choose the ones that I was most attracted to. And what they sent was a whole range of things. We'll start with showing you the full size perfume beautiful, beautiful spray bottle here. So it opens up like this. Oh man. It's a very um, weighty packaging, feels very luxurious. And then in a range of different fragrances, they sent over these um, refillable travel sized vials like this so that you can take the um, vials and them into the packaging once one of them runs out. Then they sent a full size perfume. I can't get over how stunning this packaging is. Look at that. Look at the artwork in there, the bottle, 
beautiful. And so the fragrance that I chose for the full size is called Florentina. And lastly, they sent over this beautiful candle um, in one of their fragrances. And again, the packaging is very weighty. It feels so high quality and very luxurious. Okay, it's a single wick candle. And this fragrance is very potent, very strong, not in an overwhelming like or sickly way, but it's not going to be a weak fragrance. You'll get um, a lot of the strong scent going around in your room. So there are five fragrances to choose from. The first one is Dovana, which is tender musk, Florentina, which is a powdery musk. And of course, if you go on their website, then you can see all of the different notes for each fragrance. Smeraldo, which is green musk. Lily Lang, which is solar musk, and Helichris, which is spicy musk. So if you would like to go check out any of their products, I will link all of the information in the description box below for the website and where you can find them. All right, let's go on to some hair stuff. As you probably can see, I did bleach, lighten, and tone my hair. I did do it myself. There are two products um, that um, the company Sexy Hair was kind enough to send along for me to try. This one is the Healthy Sexy Hair Surf Rider. Okay, this is a texturizing spray. It comes out as a really fine powder mist. And the scent on this is very pleasant. It is a sweeter, like more floral scent, which typically I would not be uh, grabbing from the shelf, but I do enjoy it. It's mimosa flower extract and moonstones. So this gives um, sort of texture and body to the hair, which I really need because I have very thin sort of lifeless hair for the most part. Um, and then this product, which is very interesting, this is the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. This is a volumizing and texturizing powder. It comes out just as a white powder. It feels kind of cool in your palm and you literally just smush it into the roots here and it helps give the roots volume and again combat that kind of limp lifelessness that usually my hair has so i've been really enjoying these two products lately i know i've been featuring sol de janeiro in my videos a lot lately but i just cannot get enough of the products from this brand this first thing is the brazilian bod buff so this is a smoothing scrub and mask the scent is to die for. It uh, smells to me pretty much exactly like their original Bum Bum Cream. Um, so again, very summery, like sensual scent to this one. I plan to use it as mainly a like foot and body scrub. And then this guy, which is the Acai Body Power Cream. So like I said, if you're familiar with the Bum Bum Cream that comes in the more orangey yellow packaging, um, this is another body lotion, but in a different scent. This one is more fruity. It's not as sensual, but smells equally delicious. It's not an overwhelmingly like sweet or fruity or food based scent. Be very easy to wear and I cannot wait to take this with me. This is a travel size, so I will definitely be taking this with me on the road when I am traveling. You know, I always love my new Zoya collections. This one is for summer 2018. This is the Jelly Brights. This is one of my favorite formulations um, and finishes. So here are three of the shades that have this formulation. This formulation can be more sheer if you apply just one layer and then you need to build it up if you want it to be more opaque, but um, it has a beautiful finish. This is Aaliyah, that shade there. This next shade is called Paris. And this final shade is called Molly. Beautiful summer shades. And two shower products. Let's start with this one that Jergens was nice enough to send along. This is the Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer in the shade Medium to Tan. This is something that you use in the shower and it's supposed to help you give you a gradual tan. I'm very excited to try this out because then I don't have to um, stay out of the shower, wait for it to dry, not put on any clothes. It's just something I can incorporate into my shower routine. Um, and it says it's like a no rinse needed type of formula. So I am very excited to try this out and I will definitely let you know what the results are from this. Look, it comes out just like a 
white normal shower gel doesn't even have a tint to it so yeah stay tuned this is a similar product from saint tropez this is the everyday pre-shower tanning mousse it says you can shower after one minute of putting this on um, again i just it comes in a foam dispenser i'm really curious to see how effective this is it would be really nice to have a self tanner that you didn't have to leave on the body for so long before showering so again i'll let you know and from first aid beauty they were kind enough to send along for review the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer it says this is safe for sensitive skin i love this moisturizer this is something that is perfect for people who have oily or combination skin um, this moisturizer sets into the skin it does moisturize it but it doesn't leave any sort of heavy film behind it's not shiny um, or oily or anything like that so it sinks into the skin it feels really pleasant it's been wonderful for the really hot summer uh, weeks that have come along in the past month so I've been really enjoying this it has a good blend of antioxidants ingredients for your skin without um, any sort of uh, fragrances that will irritate it or other irritating ingredients so definitely go check this product out from first aid beauty if you especially have oily or combination skin all right, that rounds it out for the June 2018 What's New in Beauty video. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If there's anything in particular that you um, have been using that's new this month, please share them with me in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.